Getting started with Tier 4 Sensor Fusion Development Kit. In this video, we will explain the setup process of the Sensor Fusion Development Kit provided by Tier 4, and demonstrate some sample applications. The software and tools used are either included in AutoWare's perception features, or developed by Tier 4 for autonomous vehicle development. All are available as open source software. As a system configuration example, we use Tier 4's Automotive HDR Camera C1, a size at 128 LiDAR, and a D-Link's RQX 58G and a VA 3510 ECUs. Each piece of equipment is connected according to this connection diagram. The camera's data is acquired on the edge ECU, converted to ROS topics, and used for 2D object detection processing. The detection results are then transferred to the main ECU. LiDAR data is acquired on the main ECU, converted to ROS topics, and used for 3D object detection processing. The results of object detection from the camera and LiDAR are combined on the main ECU, achieving high-precision object detection through sensor fusion. To obtain accurate results, it is necessary for each sensor and ECU to be time-synchronized and spatially calibrated. We will explain synchronization and calibration later. Once the hardware connection is complete, the system will look like this. Next, we mount the sensor kit on the vehicle. Depending on the viewing direction, field of view of each sensor and the desired detection range, you will need to adjust the mounting position and angle of each sensor. Next, we will explain how to install the required software. Please follow the procedure described by the README of each relevant GitHub repository. On the Edge ECU, we install the software provided in the Edge Auto Jetson repository. When the installation is complete, the screen will look like this. On the main ECU, we install the software provided in the Edge Auto repository. When the installation is complete, the screen will look like this. This concludes the software setup. Next, we will explain two points about the operation of this kit sensor system. First, let's look into the sensor drivers for the camera and LiDAR, which were installed automatically in the previous software configuration step. For the camera, using this driver, Images from the GMSL camera are converted to ROS topics using a ROS 2V4L2 driver. With the LiDAR, using this driver, UDP packets sent from the sensor are converted into ROS point cloud topics. These drivers have been developed by Tier 4 and are provided as open source software. Next, we will explain the system's time synchronization. PTP is used for time synchronization of the system, with the main ECU being the PTP master. Between the ECU and the sensors, the timing of sensor measurements and the synchronization of timestamps are achieved through trigger inputs to the camera and PTP synchronization with LiDAR. These settings can be flexibly changed according to the hardware configuration. Next, we will discuss calibration which is important for sensor fusion. We will explain the intrinsic parameter calibration of the camera, and the extrinsic parameter calibration between the camera and LiDAR. First, we will conduct the intrinsic parameter calibration. Start the camera and run the camera calibration tool. While watching the camera image displayed by the tool, move the calibration board and collect data. During this process, by referring to the heat map, Data can be collected across the entire field of view, resulting in an accurate calibration. 
Once data collection is complete, run the calibration and output the results to a file. Next, we will conduct the calibration of the extrinsic parameters between the camera and LiDAR. Start the camera and LiDAR, and run the camera LiDAR calibration tool. While watching the LiDAR point cloud displayed on the tool, move the calibration board and collect data. Moving the board so that the markers of the target are recorded over as wide a range as possible will result in a more accurate calibration. Once data collection is complete, run the calibration and output the results to a file. If the calibration is completed correctly, the data from the camera and LiDAR will be accurately overlaid and displayed like this. Now, let's have a look at an example of the operation of the vehicle equipped with this kit during driving. Here are the results of 2D object detection using YOLOX and Bite Track. From the camera images, it is possible to detect objects that are common in autonomous driving environments, such as vehicles and pedestrians. Here are the results of 3D object detection using Centerpoint. From the LiDAR point cloud, it is possible to detect objects such as vehicles and pedestrians as a three-dimensional shape. Finally, here are the results of sensor fusion that combines the object detection results of the camera and LiDAR. With LiDAR, you can acquire three-dimensional shapes, and with the camera, you can make accurate class estimates. By combining the characteristics of each, you can achieve reliable detection results. This kit allows you to use the recognition applications implemented in AutoWare. Source code is publicly available, and the hardware configuration and detection model can be flexibly changed to match your application. For more details about this kit, please check the link in the description section.